One of the questions that you always have to worry about when you're dealing with ancient systems is whether or not the entry fee that you have to pay if you don't know the local language is sufficient to block you from understanding the subject. Uh, the answer to that question is yes and no, depending on the kind of inquiry. Language has this incredible kind of reinforcement and structure that only a native speaker can start to get. So if that's what your task is, then you can't do it. On the other hand, if what your task is to understand the fundamental relationships that exist, this is the way in which you try to do it. What you do is you take the Roman text and you put it next to the English translation. And if you're peculiarly energetic, you put it next to two or even three English transactions and then start to see the way in which they agree or disagree with one another. And all of a sudden, when you start to see the disagreements, it turns out that these are not on the really difficult constructions or the linguistic terms that are used in the language, they're on the most simple terms that are imaginable, and people can constantly get them wrong because they mistranslate them. Lawson, who's a great Latinist, wrote a book which he called Negligence in the Civil Law, and this was about the tort system. He picked that particular title, writing in 1950, because negligence was thought in English jurisprudence at the time to be the universal solvent for all cases, whether they involved aggression against strangers or harms that arose out of consensual arrangements like occupier's liability, medical malpractice, and product liability, a kind of an intermediate case. Uh, but it turns out uh, that's just not the correct term. And so you go start looking at things, and the Romans are constantly using the term culpa, and saying that somebody is negligent? No. What culpa means in English is culpable. And then the question is, what does culpable mean in English? Well, it means blameworthy in some sense or another. But if you mistranslate a simple word, what you're doing is you're taking an implicit universalistic view, which is very popular today, but is not necessarily in accordance with the Roman text. And so the reason you give people both the Latin and the English is you want to make sure that they see these deviations. 